Hey guys, Traveling Taylor back with you this week, and I wanted to talk a little bit about money mindset. So this year in 2019, I did a lot of personal work on my money mindset. So I realized that I had a pretty unhealthy relationship with money in general. So there are people, money coaches and others that actually teach about money and not just budgeting and not just how to manage your money, although that is a big part of it, but also just your um, emotional and like your relationship to money. So what are some limiting beliefs that you have? What are some unhealthy beliefs that you have about money? How do you feel about it? You might have great relationship with money and that is wonderful, but that is not the case for everybody. So I read three books specifically that I wanted to share with you today that I felt really helped change my mindset and really get me on a much better path. It is still a work in progress. I am not 100% there. I don't have, and all of a sudden just, you know, flip a switch and everything is better, but it actually has really helped me this year to sort of wrap my head around what were some emotional issues I needed to deal with in relation to money and, you know, what can I do to further that in the future? So the first book that I read and I just changed everything was you are a badass at making money by Jen Sincero. So she is a money coach and she started from the absolute bottom. She was very broke for a majority of her adult life, really stuck, um, not in a really good place in a lot of ways. And she really lifted herself out of that through the help of other coaches and other teachings around her. And now she's a best-selling author and wonderful, wonderful coach. So if you haven't, check out her book, You Are a Badass at Making Money. And then one of the books that she recommends, so like I said, she had, she's read a lot of books. She's had a lot of coaches coach her. One of the ones she said that made the biggest impact for her was this book, The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles. I love his name. <laughs> Wallace Waddles. This is, I mean, you can tell it's super small. I think it's like 60 pages or something. It's really short. Um, and he's just very straight to the point. So Jen is a storyteller and she will motivate you and excite you and have you believing that anything and everything is possible, but in a really realistic way. Um, but Wallace here, he's no fluff, no stories, just this. It's the science. It's the science part of it. And this is actually a really big book that influenced Jen. So I was like, well, might as well read it. Um, I don't know when he wrote this. It's definitely a little more old timey. <laughs> so parts of it you're like, that's not how modern society works anymore. But basically, but the things, the principles that he teaches in here do still very much hold true. So this is a really good, I would say, addition to Jen, or if you wanted to read this one and then hers, uh, you definitely see some similarities in what they teach. And the third book that I highly recommend, especially if you want something that is a little more money management and maybe also faith-based, is a book called God, Money, and Me by Paul DeYoung. And I actually got this book when I was in New Zealand. I was visiting his church in Christchurch. Um, and he had just written it and it had come out and I bought it that day. It took me a while to read it, but once I did, it really... Um, it really connected with me and it really put me on a really positive path in the sense of managing my money and it kind of gave me some principles I could hold on to once the money started flowing in a little bit better. So um, I don't have a copy of that because as I was traveling I would have one book at a time and then I would give it away or gift it or exchange it with someone. So I don't have that copy, but it definitely was a book that really influenced and helped me over the last year. So that book is called God, Money, and Me by Paul DeYoung. These are the books I recommend. So if you're interested in working on your money mindset, and if you are interested in making some changes in your financial situation in a positive way, um, I definitely recommend looking into either a money coach. Um, I can give you some recommendations if you are interested. So feel free to send me a message 
or if you just want to check these books out, I will put the links below. So um, thanks so much, you guys. Short video this week. I just wanted to throw out some of these books that I've read this year that really influenced me. I will be back next week as usual with more digital nomad lifestyle tips. So that includes everything from travel, online business, and remote working. And in some cases, might give you some little personal growth tips, but as an online business owner, it is really important to um, make sure that you are handling your finances well because it's all on you. So check these out and let me know what you think and I will see you next week.